In a previous video, I went over the terms and calculations for sine waves in alternating current. In this video, we'll be taking a more in-depth look at RMS voltage, or root mean squared voltage, and instantaneous voltage. To explain what root mean squared voltage is, I'll be going over a simple visual proof. On the upper right hand corner of the slide, I've placed a graph of the sine wave. If you were to take the average of one period of the sine wave, you'd end up with zero because it's symmetrical over the x-axis. Now if we squared the sine wave, all values will be above the x-axis. If you look at the graph of sine x squared, you can see visually that half of the value of voltage max squared will give you the average value of this function. So voltage max squared over 2 equals the average value of sine x squared. Now if we take the voltage max squared over 2 and we take the square root of that, we get voltage max over square root of 2 equals RMS voltage. Now let's find the instantaneous voltage. Instantaneous voltage is the voltage at a given time. Instantaneous voltage can be found by using the formula of voltage max times the sine of how many radians a second the wave is moving at times the times in seconds, or simply voltage times the sine of the phase angle. For an example, let's find the instantaneous voltage at phase angle of 210 degrees. Looking at the unit circle, we can see that we're in the third quadrant, and at uh, the sine of 210 degrees, it is going to be a negative one half. You could use a calculator as well, but I like to use the unit circle whenever possible. Better help explain this, I put a triangle in the lower left hand corner. We're really just doing some Sokotoa here, so we're taking the sine of 210 degrees, and we're timesing that by the voltage max. So it ends up being just negative one half times the voltage max equals the instantaneous voltage. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.